All right, this is going to be a quick demo of how to record a PowerPoint uh, video from either LaTeX slides or uh, PowerPoint slides that you make in PowerPoint. Um, so I'm going to assume that you have a PDF of your LaTeX slides already. If you're doing LaTeX, you probably know how to generate a PDF. Um, and then I'm going to figure out how to put those into PowerPoint. So PowerPoint and Beamer don't talk to each other natively. So you have to make use of a PDF to PNG software. Uh, I just Google PDF to PNG and the one that I'm using right now, PDF to PNG.com comes up immediately. Um, I click upload files. Uh, and I go and find my slides. So let's see, I'm just going to pick my first set of slides. I'm going to open that. Converts them into pictures. And it gives me a zip. Uh, and I've already, I'm not actually going to keep this because I already have it. So uh, you get a zip folder full of PNGs, uh, you unzip it, and then you go into PowerPoint. Okay, so in PowerPoint, you have a blank slideshow, you hit insert, and then you insert a photo album. A new photo album and so what the reason you don't just do a picture is the picture will create an individual object in the slideshow you want it to automatically convert your pictures to slides and that's what this does so I'm gonna go in to slides common torques uh, all right so here's all my pictures so I'm gonna upload all of these and create Okay, so it creates this photo album for me with all my slides. Um, I'm going to delete this because I don't need that title. I have my own title. Um, and now once I've got my slides in here, I can start recording the show. So that step is for people who already have LaTeX slides. If you don't have LaTeX slides and you don't want to make them, you can just do math slides in uh, PowerPoint. Right? You can just, let's see, background, format background to white, uh, solid fill, color... There we go. Um, and then I insert, you know, text. Um, uh, this is white too. I don't want that. Let's see. There we go. Um, example, what is 3 plus 5? All right, so I can do that as well. Um, so once I've got my slides, I'm going to go to Slideshow. I'm going to hit Record Slideshow from Beginning. And that opens up this screen right here. Uh, so notice I've got the record button up here in the top left. I've got my pin controls down here in the bottom. And I'm going to click into the pin to start. Um, I can use the arrow keys to change slides. I already have uh, my Wacom tablet set up to where I can move the slides from the tablet. That's pretty cool. Um, but basically, I hit record. It gives me a countdown, and I start saying whatever it is I'm going to say. I can draw on this. What is 3 plus 5? I don't know. In fact, I want to show my students that I really, I really care about here is the 3 plus 5-ness of it all, so I'm going to highlight the phrase 3 plus 5, and I can do that while I'm talking so that their eyes are drawn to what I'm talking about if you have a decent amount of information on a slide. Uh, and so I, you know, I draw three sticks, and then I draw five sticks, and I count the total number of sticks, and uh, I think that's eight sticks. I'm not totally sure. Um, so you should use a calculator to check your answer. But anyway, that's how you uh, record videos over PowerPoint. Then I hit stop to stop the recording, uh, and you can replay it. Well, let me actually, I want to make sure that we can what see that... In fact, I want to show my students that I really, really care about. Here. I want to see the drawing on the screen. You can see my highlighting. So that their eyes are drawn to what I'm talking about. If you have a decent amount of information on a slide, uh, and so I, you know, I draw three sticks, and then I draw. And you can see the marker as well. Uh, okay, then I close this out, and all that is saved to my slideshow. So the first thing I want to do is I want to save this as a PowerPoint file wherever I'm saving them. And then after I've done that, I want to go to Home. No, nope, I want to go to File. I go down to Export, and that gives me the option to create a MP4 video uh, called Presentation 3. So I'll save that as well. Um, that's about it.